Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Databricks. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this lesson we will learn how to clean the data which will involve removing the null values, identifying the extreme values and removing them. By the end of the lesson you will have learned how to handle the null values, how to remove them, how to remove the extreme values and how to look at the data to get a feel for it. So we'll start by creating a notebook and the language of the notebook is going to be Python. Okay, so first we will start by looking at the number of records which are present in our database. So first we are going to create the data frame object and inside the data frame object we are going to select the data from our table which is wine data. Execute the query. And you can see that the data has been transferred to our data frame object. Now we are going to use this data frame object to count the number of records that have been transferred. Execute the query. And you will see that we have a total of 1599 records. Okay. So out of these 1599 records, we are going to see the records that have the null value or the extreme value. So for that we will write the query. The query will select the record where quality is null or greater than 10. Now we will simply execute the query to see the null values and the outliers. Ok there is type. Execute this again. So here it has returned us the rows having null values. Now in order to drop the null value row. We are going to use this command. It is going to remove the row having the null value. Okay, now let's execute the query. And our query has been successfully executed. This means that the row containing the null value has been deleted. Now we will move towards removing the extreme values. And for that, we'll first visualize the result so that we can understand the uh, where the null values are and how we can eliminate it. For that we will write the query. We will group and order by the rows on the basis of quality and count. This query is going to return us the number of records for each quality type. Run the query. And you can see that uh, for each quality it has provided us the number of records. Now let's visualize the data and here you can see that the most number of values are for the quality 5 and 6 and this 100 value is the outlier so we have to remove this value. And for that we'll have to calculate the interquartile range. Interquartile range is the measure of statistical dispersion which in fact is the spread of the data. So for calculating the interquartile range, we'll first calculate the approximate quantile and for that we are going to write the query. Here defining this zero means that it is actually going to calculate the quantile instead of approximating it and we are calculating the quantile between the value 0 0.25 and, 0 .0 and the value 0 0.75. Now let's run the query. Here you can see that after dropping the number of rows has been decreased to 1599. Now we will move towards removing the outliers and for that we will first view all the records and uh, visualize it to see the outlying values and for that we will use the query display df dot grouper. We are going to group it by quality, then we are going to count the number of values for each quality and then we are going to order it on the basis of quality. This is going to return us the number of uh, records for each quality type. Now let's run the query and you will see that it is going to return us the number of qualities and the number of records for each quality. We can also visualize this by going to the visualization and here you can see that most number of records 
are for the quality 5 and 6 and this 100 value is the outlier which we have to remove so for that we'll have to calculate the interquartile range which is a measure of statistical dispersion which in simple word means how much spreaded our data is and for that we'll first calculate the uh, and for that we'll first calculate the approximate quantile for that we are going to write the query and we are going to find this quantile on the basis of quality and for the values 0 0.25 0 0.75 and by defining 0 here means that it is going to actually calculate the quantile instead of approximating it. Let's execute the query. Here you can see that it has returned me two values 5.0 and 6.0 which were actually the values having the most number of counts. Okay, so now we'll move towards calculating the interquartile range and for that I am going to create a variable in which I am going to subtract the highest value from the lowest value which was calculated from the approximate quartile so highest value is 6.0 lower value is 5.0 it is going to return me 1 it is successfully executed ok I forgot to print it let's print in the quartile range run this and you can see it has returned me 1.0 ok so now we'll move towards calculating the highest and lowest values and for lower value what we do is we we subtract the lower value of approximate quartile by calculating the interquartile range into 2 so this value will be subtracted from the lower value and the lower value will be calculated but for higher value of approximate quartile and instead of subtraction we will do addition okay then simply we are going to print the low value and the high value to see those values and then we will simply execute the query to see the calculated result. You can see that it has returned me 3.0 for the lower value and 8.0 for the highest value. This means that we are going to limit our records between 3.0 and 8.0 value of the quality, which means we will remove the outliers which are outside this particular range. And for that, we are going to apply a filter on the data frame and for that we will write df.filter the filter is going to be equality greater than or equal to low value and the quality must be less than or equal to the high value okay so it is going to filter out the results on the basis of this filter simply run the query and you can see that our query has been successfully executed. We will calculate the values within the data frame object. For that, we will use df.count to see the number of records that it returns. Here, you can see that it has further removed one row from the record. This means that the value initially our data was 1600 rows. Then when we remove the null value, it became 1599. Now when we remove the outlier, which was the extreme value, it has reduced to 15.98. Now if we want to reuse this data for future calculations, we can store it in our table. And for that, we will write the query. df.write.save as table. And inside that we are going to define the table name. I am going to call it clean wine data. Okay. Now let's run this query and all the data present in the data frame object will be stored in a table named clean wine data. Okay. The query has been successfully executed. Let's see whether the data is present in the this or not you, you can see that our clean wine data is present let's click it and you can see that the data has been shifted to the clean wine data okay so this is how you can use the integral range and different data frame functions to clear up your data to remove the null values and to remove the extreme values or the outliers so this is all for this video. Thank you.